<laughs> but the video part did not the phone. Just okay. the video. Just the video. Okay. It's like, you can't video that. And went on and went to photo. Oh. Yeah. She's like, okay, uh, just fix that. Yeah, we're talking about the gym pills. I made an offhand comment. I yeah. didn't swear. No. I just okay. made a very unladylike comment. Something about, oh, I can use a... A gin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Instead of the pills in liquid form. Yeah. Like we were joking, but yeah, it was like. I'd rather have the real thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was like, whoop. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, oh. well, I'll just mind my keys and keys. Yeah. Interesting. The yeah, they're parading. Yeah, yeah, I think this is they the way they're parading. They're parade. So. so we'll talk again later. Okay, thank Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, there's some uh, coffee and stuff inside if you need to warm up. Yeah, I was well. just going to cold yeah. out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> chill. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to stand on the sunshine maybe for that. And thank you for the opportunity. Oh, like, thank again, you. Anything in the future arises, we'd be more than happy to come up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And if you guys have something you want to come back and investigate, let us yeah. know. Yeah. Or if yeah. you know, there's something that suits the same level and stuff, then yeah. we're gonna, uh, yeah. tomorrow we're going to be at the Walker Theater. I yes, I understand. Yeah. So that's I look forward to hearing how well this works for you, this, yeah. Oh, this yeah. site. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So I don't have the best equipment. This is my son's used laptop, and I got it's the good mic. microphone. Yeah, yeah you that's know, good. But eventually, if we make a few dollars, it's going to go into better equipment. Yeah. And, you know, this, we're only like three months in. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we're just over 2,000 downloads of plays, though. Oh, this is that's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, only 68% of that's from Winnipeg. The rest yeah. is from Canada. And, and else. somewhere else. Okay. I would like to know who's happens. listening to us somewhere else. Yeah. Bum, 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 Other bum, podcasts bum. critiquing and using their Yeah, maybe. Spies. <laughs> spies. There's spies so, everywhere. Okay, thanks okay. again, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, the dapper guy walked all the way around. I was behind you over there. Okay. You look very oh, dapper. That's where we're yeah. Sure yeah. Okay. Do you have any ghost stories? Have you had any experiences ever, not just here or anywhere? Well, I'll tell you once I moved into the, the heritage home in the fall. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll give you my report mm. next year. Well, here you are. Yeah. We'll hold you to it, yeah. even though we yeah. have no idea who you are or what your name is. Uh, <laughs> well, if you come up to the Karen house, you'll know who I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Oh, no, are you out there you tomorrow? tomorrow? Oh, there tomorrow. we're tomorrow. at the Walker Theater tomorrow. We're bi- we're podcasting from there as well. Wow! But the Karen House, eh? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm well, the Karen we'll see how time permits for sure. Okay. I'm Jazz, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark. Karen. Oh, Karen. sure. Look at that. Ooh. Is that like your your distant relatives or? Yes. Distant oh, okay. Relatives. So my the Karens mm-hmm. came to Manitoba. My great grandfather came to Manitoba in 1880. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. His partner, which was his cousin, mm-hmm. George Carroll, from uh, Quebec also. Okay. They had uh, 2,400 acres that they had oh, purchased. Okay. okay. So Charles came first in 1880. George came later in 1882. Okay. So in 1882, George settled on the property that uh, Charles had arranged to get ready for him. Right. So. George got his farm going. Okay. And uh, as he was going along, he became, he got into politics. He was a mm. St. James assessor. Then he became the reed for for uh, St. Charles. Okay. Because okay, that was called St. Charles. It wasn't Charles. Right, right, oh, yeah. right. Charles would didn't come until 1913. Oh, 1913. Cool. Okay, so cool. they just had their centennial a few right, years ago. Right, right. So, so he was the reeve. George Karen was the reeve mm-hmm. uh, from 1901 to 1903. Then after that, uh, he became uh, involved with uh, with the government somehow mm-hmm. and with agriculture. Okay. Because he majored in dairy production. Okay. Yeah. And he won medals for his dairy production. 1886 in St. Boniface. Wow. And 1887 in the next. Uh, the, uh, Next municipality. Exposition oh, okay. in, in Toronto. Okay. Oh, Royal heck Fair. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, he got into politics. He did the uh, the Reeve, and then once he, he was finished with the Reeve and he did a little bit of uh, side work, he be, he got his job for the government as mm-hmm. uh, Manitoba Inspector for Institutions. Oh. Selkirk, Brandon, okay. Manitoba Development Center there in Be very long, the 
was a maiden sweet, and she never would do wrong. Everyone said she was pretty, she was not long in the city. All alone, oh, what a pity, poor little maid. She never saw the streets of Cairo. On the midway, she had never strayed. She never saw the coochie coochie. What's it like for the past how many years? Since you got, since, since you've been 19 house. years. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And you're still in there? So yes. Obviously it's my home. It's, 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 it's my not. home forever. Okay. Yeah. My forever home. I'm sorry, what is your name? Suzanne. Suzanne? From Dallas, Manitoba. Taylor. Taylor, and I'm Jess. Hi. 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 Dallas, Manitoba. Yes. Whereabouts is that? 200 kilometers yeah. north. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's in between Pegwis and Fisher River Reserves. Great, great. So that's your home, and the ghost can just put up or shut up. The ghost is there, yeah. It comes usually when there's uh, more than a few people in the home. Okay. Literally, like, it's kind of funny, but everybody says we need to get our wiring checked. Oh. The lights over my um, my island are shaped in the S because my name's Suzanne and I put them on myself. <laughs> and when we have company, they will just go on and off. Just, just random. Wow. Um, and it's just only when we have company, people say, "Well, does it ever happen when you're there?" Very rarely. When we're just the two of us, or even myself in the home, does it happen? But when we have family gatherings, family dinners. It's uh, my mom and dad have seen it. Many, many people have been at our home, and your lights just went off. That's just our Bazuzu ghost. Don't yeah. worry about it. But that's all they do. Is he just turns the lights on and off. And there, there was one time uh, two years ago, I had geothermal heating put in my home. Okay. And they had to trench my yard, and almost all the lights in my house went weird. There's no electrical wiring where they put the geothermal in. Um, the lights outside, I was videotaping. The lights in the in the other side of the kitchen that never flickered before flickered. Uh, in the main room of the house, were flickering. In my bedroom, were flickering. And there's actually no electrical lines at all where the geothermal was put in until they covered the field up. It was okay. Three days, two days later, it was fine. How Never did house it. My house. It was uh, finished in 2000. Okay, so like you're the first owner. Would you yes. Oh, okay. So maybe it's just something with the property that maybe. Yeah. So could be. That's what we said. So, yeah. Or do you know the history of the area, like where where the house is at? Um, that's your father's. My father's yeah. land from my yeah grandfather. Yeah, it's an old settlement. Okay. My uh, great grandfather was the one that moved. Um, he actually was up there with the York boat. He went to survey the Pegasus Reserve when the people were getting kicked out of Selkirk. He was the surveyor to survey the reserve. So he was the first one up there in the early 1900s, 1901, 1902, he was up there. And was there, like, say, his house on that property somewhere then? No, actually it was across the street, just across the road from That's still pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah interesting. Her. Yeah, from the early 1900s he was up there. And Dallas was actually supposed to be crow's nest, but there was already a crow's nest in Canada. So my great grandfather's name was his nickname was Dill, and his last name was Asham. So they changed it to Dallas. Oh, yes. that's interesting. <laughs> history. That's yeah. History. That's cool. Do you girls listen to podcasts at all? Or? No, but this sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we we cover Winnipeg a lot, but we're you know we want to branch out and do more like out of, out of the city. Down on the okay. Here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we like to. My partner had to leave. She had a parents' anniversary. Um, but uh, yeah, we we've been here for about 19 weeks. Uh, we're Winnipeg, the first Winnipeg, uh, first and only Winnipeg paranormal podcast. We discuss history, stories. Suzanne, uh, Tracy would like this. Yeah, urban legends. You know, like it's like, does that really happen? So we, we do a little investigation work. We try to find out stuff as best we well, can. Hey, you're welcome. We'll we'll, we'll have a we'll have a, a games night. You're welcome to come up to Dallas and to watch the lights go on and off yourself and just be, you'll just, it's just, there's been this, we used to have just a few people and now everybody that comes over, it's like, well, when is it going to happen? The lights, we're in the, we're in the living room playing games, we have game night and like the no lights will just go off. No one's near the switch. No one's near the switch at all. It's like, it just does it. And everyone says it's got to be dodgy, but it's like, you know what? We've been here 19 years. House hasn't burned down. Right. Um, I don't know. It just it just happens when there's a lot of people. So it's pretty cool. It likes cool. the energy. It likes the. I think that's what it is. And it's like I said, it has it. It's got an S on there for my name. Put them up myself. It was just funny because we're all standing around the island. Um, her and like our friends, we're like talking, and then we start talking about 
how some people don't pay like the hydro. Right. And as soon as we started talking about hydro, the lights went out. Yeah, oh. that it was so we we just about and he's like killed yeah. ourselves <laughs> laughing. He's like, mm. yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, pay your hydro bill, like, your hydro's like, gonna go up. And as soon as we said like that, it just the hydro cut. I was like, okay, the ghost has a sense of humor. This is great. <laughs> but yeah, we've never been um, really. Anything else has happened? A few weird things over the years, but just the lights are. are we had the old TV. We had the old TV. The sound would go up, or just turn completely off. Yeah, the sound would just go like to the maximum volume on there. We had those. Uh, what were those speakers called? They were very expensive. <laughs> They're just, it would just be loud. They're like the, yeah. nuance. The nuance speakers. They were like a big thing back They're in the nineties. Yeah, they were really. They were really big. Yeah, there's something definitely in energy, so no matter what's here now, it's yeah, uh, people said, you know, oh, you should need to get your house blessed or smudged or, 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 or something. It's like, why? <laughs> we had nothing to talk about or a game night of that. If we did that, I don't want to chase it out. We love our ghosts. Yeah, we love our little ghosts. That's good. Like, if you're with the yeah. Oh, that's all. Like, is it? But that's the only thing. The lights would just. Because it's out. nothing like evil. Yeah. Like, if it was evil, I, I would. I wouldn't feel safe. Yeah. 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 It's just there. It's just there. It's just a light. Just a Home Depot light that I put up. And I don't know what the heck is it was. Oh yeah, we could buy T-shirts. Yeah, we could buy T-shirts too. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Um, but yeah, do you actually do you actually, do you actually go to investigate yourself or not really? The only thing we've done so far, I had a co-worker that stuff. So I actually did the investigation work as far as like the research on the house, and we did find out somebody did pass in the house. Oh, okay. We're pretty sure because she was uh, the ghost was actually messing with the boyfriend that she didn't like. Oh. And the boyfriend was a bit of a, a DD, and okay. he did make his way out violently, but he left, okay. and then they stopped. So oh. kind of went hand in hand, like as far as like what was happening. It was almost like she was trying to drive the house. See, that doesn't that make me think now. When I was building the house and we were digging for the piles, that was what we were saying. It was the, the most putrid smell. We made a joke that oh, it must be like an ancient burial ground or something. It was the most putrid smell when we dug the piles from my home. Really? Yeah. And then after everything, all the concrete went down, all that, you know, it was gone. But that's what, that's what I remember that. It was, it was horrible. And it's on a ridge, so there's no swamp. There's nothing there. It's just all rock. Rock and sand. So where the lights are just kind of like, we videotaped it. I have your... We're on Facebook. We do most of our yeah, stuff on Facebook yeah. actively, yeah, Instagram, yeah. a bit of Twitter. Yeah. 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 Yeah.